specific rocket? Yesterday night. It was during the night. I don't know the specific hour. So how, sorry, how, how, long, how large was the rocket again, did you say? Uh, the standard normal rocket that lands around this area is only 122, it's only 122 millimeter rocket. Okay. Which is the, if you understand the ballistics, you have to understand what type of rocket can land in this specific area. Yeah. In terms of the type of rocket. Yeah. Um, you can see also on the nearby house over here, this is damage that was called not from that rocket here, but that was a rocket that landed previously uh, and struck the same street, the same area where we are. And you can see all the shrapnel and the damage that was caused to the nearby house where we are at the moment. So in terms of the Israeli National Police, these are the type of incidents that we have to be prepared for. Obviously the same type of incident that we have here where a rocket did not explode. Think about what could happen in a populated area. Think about if you're in London and you're in a populated area and there would be a rocket with 10 kilos that would land and explode inside an area. Uh, there would be extensive damage and people that would be killed. I mean, if we can compare in terms of explosives, if you're talking about 10 kilos of explosives on a bus, think about 10 kilos of an explosive on a bus. During the second Intifada, there were suicide bombers that exploded with 10 kilos on them. Inside a bus, inside a closed area, there was nothing left of those buses. So the impact and the damage would be absolutely severe in this area, with probably a perimeter of maybe 50 to 80 meters around the whole area. Damage. And how big 